Good evening everyone, welcome to an Oz Cyclone Chasers Cyclone video update for the nation today, the 8th of December 2015. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update is sponsored by our major sponsor, Campbell Scientific Australia, when measurements matter. Looking at the past week of rainfall, thanks to the Bureau of Meteorology here, we can see that the northwest part of Australia has received some pretty good rainfall for this time of year. Falls of 50 to 100 millimetres in many places, uh, with widespread generalised falls of over 25 millimetres in the past week. Across Queensland, it's been pretty dull uh, for most of the region. There have been some onshore showers which have resulted in some heavier but very localised falls up here in the north tropical coast, as well as some thunderstorm activity that pushed northwards earlier uh, or later last week. We also had a fair bit of storm activity through southern Queensland. Now, this next co this coming week, we're looking at a fairly dull weather pattern for most of Queensland until probably the latter part of next week or the middle to latter parts of next week when we see this really, really strong trough, which you can see here is creating or going to create widespread falls across the Northern Territory and the far northern parts of WA. Now that trough will deepen and will eventually track eastwards and the, the one to two week rainfall period could be quite significant across Queensland. That deepening trough will also coincide with what we call an MJO. And that MJO is expected to get over the Australian area in about one to two weeks time. So the Australian region is phases four and five. And you can see here, each dot, each black dot here represents one day. And we can see that in about seven to 10 days, it starts to enter the Australian region and then sort of sits in our region for an extended period all the way through to the end of the forecast here, which is the 4th of January. But it does weaken towards the back end of that forecast. So uh, after Christmas, we're looking at a weakening MJO. But before Christmas, there is certainly a chance for some widespread heavy rainfall across northern Australia. But the computer models still are not on board with any confidence uh, as to what will happen with, as a result of this MJO. And the Bureau of Meteorology are very cautious in their assessment as well because of that. So we have probably our most reputable model here, the European, which is predicting some widespread, very heavy rainfall across northern Australia uh, in the back end of December. But yet we still have a lot of the other computer models that don't predict any such thing from uh, any such thing happening. What we will generally see on most of the models is this deep trough system creating widespread showers and thunderstorms. But there's a fair difference between widespread showers and thunderstorms and heavy generalised rain across the tropics, and that's where the models disagree. There is likely to be a very weak tropical cyclone way out west, about uh, three or 4,000 kilometres west of WA, uh, but it's not going to enter our region. Our region starts here at 90 degrees east where my cursor is. Uh, you can see that this system is not expected to, to go anywhere near that. So currently you can see in this model what we're looking for is blues and at the moment we've got reds. So reds are, it's, are signifying much uh, higher surface pressure than normal. Uh, as we go through the forecast though, you can see here as we're going into Sunday, this deepening trough over WA on Sunday. And then as we go through to Monday, Tuesday, look by next Tuesday, we're starting to see that deepening trough across Queensland really deepens in on Wednesday and Thursday. Look at it here, really low pressures all through eastern and northern Australia. And that is the key here. And I think once those lower than normal pressures set in and with the MJO coming into the Australian area, I think that's when we can brace ourselves for a fair bit of rainfall and uh, hopefully a tropical low or two developing at some stage up here in the northern oceans. But at this stage, none of the computer modelling has tipped any anything more than a couple of lows towards the back end of December. But you can certainly see how different it's going to be. This, see, this next week, as I said, most of the rainfall will be around northwestern Australia, with some of it starting to get into western Queensland at the back end of the week, so towards uh, this time next week. However, when we go to week two, the forecast for week two shows us that we're going to see very heavy rainfall across northeastern Australia, as well as a continuation of shower and storm activity across northern Australia. So that's very positive for areas that haven't seen much rainfall here in the northeast coast of Queensland and extending northwards into the peninsula region. So that is leading up to Christmas. So that is the week of the 16th to the 24th of December. However, there doesn't appear to be any real change after that. There looks like it's going to be a continuation of fairly heavy shower and storm activity, possible rain periods across the northern half of Australia as we lead into the back end of December. 
However, it does look like it will stabilise across southern and central Queensland. None of the computer models are predicting a full-on monsoon trough yet, so we'll need to monitor that as this trough in 7 to 10 days' time starts to do its work. We'll need to see whether or not we'll, we'll actually get a monsoon trough developed from that. Now, that, it hasn't been unprecedented. So that has happened sometimes where we've had a really deep trough here and because that really deep trough drags in northerly winds from the equator, uh, it, it brings or it pulls down the monsoon trough if you like. So it has happened before and I believe a few years ago we actually saw that, the, that as the catalyst for the wet season. But it's difficult to tell if this one will do something similar. So looking briefly at the next few days, uh, we're looking at a trough system currently over Queensland going into or backing northwestwards towards the Northern Territory and into the northern half of WA. And we're looking at that trough system, the southern part of it at least, just pushing a little further east tomorrow. So we'll see some shower and storm activity developing a little further east. Some isolated showers on the coast in north of Port Douglas here or north of Cairns even. Uh, and really the shower and storm activity, the bulk of it, will be up here in the northwest in the western top end and the north Kimberley. As we go to Thursday, we can see continuation of that shower and storm activity across the northern Kimberley and a, a drying out a little bit of the Northern Territory with showers and storms on Thursday only in the far western top end. We can see this southern section of the trough really starting to tap into a little bit of extra moisture as well as a, a assistance from an upper level system creating some very heavy showers and storms, possibly some severe activity here across the border district of Queensland, New South Wales. Still some isolated showers up here in the far northern coast of Queensland in a moist easterly stream, moist but shallow easterly stream. On Friday, that uh, shower activity across the tropical coast starts to weaken out completely. Still some remnant isolated shower and storm activity across the southeast here of Queensland. The upper level trough pushes offshore, so there's no real support for really uh, widespread and strong activity. But there is still the potential here for isolated cells. Across the northwest and the interior, this is the area we're watching, of course, because this could be the start of our wet season. So we are, we're watching this new trough developing and deepening here across central Australia. That begins on Friday and starts to take shape on Saturday. You can see the trough system now into Queensland even, and we're starting to see isolated showers and storms tending scattered the further northwest we go, and certainly scattered by the time we're into the Northern Territory and the northern half of WA or not the northern half, but the northern extremities of WA. So there are definitely positive signs into the future for, for rainfall across the northern tropics of Australia. But as yet, we're not seeing any clear cyclone signals until the end of December. But that can change. As soon as we start to see troughing in the region and we see a deep moist layer, Anything can happen in the Aussie tropics. Thanks for watching, folks. A reminder, if you want more information, please uh, consider subscribing to Oz Cyclone Chasers at ozcyclonechasers.com.au. It helps us document more tropical cyclones. Thanks for watching. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you again on Tuesday.